Good morning. Good morning. It's Jay, Aaron, and August, Addie, and the Narnia litter in the back. I named it. Addie named it. It's vet day today. Vet visit. You might wonder, what does it look like or what happens whenever a breeder takes the litter to the vet? Like, what do they check? What goes in it? Because you want to know curious minds so we're going to document today for a bit oh, i guess sorry you coward i don't know if he wants to be on the screen or not but join us today as we journey through the vet with the honey yeah, narnia yeah, litter diggory's the craziest. and diggory's the craziest let's do this right, here we are picking up some donuts for our favorite vet tag august is getting sugar crazy back there for his hummingbird food and there they are in the back. Hold on, buddy. We are in Madras, headed to the vet right now. Again, we live about an hour away from our vet, so you hear the, the puppies are decent on the drive in. They're over being in the car. And we're a couple minutes out. All right, we are here at the vet. We're getting ready to do a puppy unload. Let's see what it looks like here. Here they are, the puppies. So we'll set up an area inside because we want to keep them sanitized or we want to keep the puppies clear. And we'll start packing them in. That way they don't get potentially exposed to anything in there. Let's do We're pros of this. I'm really just along for the ride right now. So we'll take the puppies from here. Good morning, Kayla. Yeah, I'm, I'm documenting it. There's Jordan. <laughs> look, at, look at the setup in there. Oh, what are you eating, Jordan? I want this one. You want that one? <laughs> yeah, that's Miss. The weight's over there. And then we'll bring them into the puppy room. Right here, we can see. We got potty pads, a fence, a blanket underneath of it to make sure that they stay healthy and not get exposed to anything. But they have been cooped up and they are nipping at the bit. All right, now that Jay's given you a good idea of what getting to the vet looks like, let me tell you what we do inside. Once the puppies are weighed, and put back in the exam room. Uh, the vet techs and I usually go through our lists and do a lot of preemptive checking. We do their temperature check. Um, they go through their list and see if there's anything that they would want the doc to um, double check. And then we give them their microchips, um, make notes, and so that the vet visit uh, with Dr. Steve is a little bit quicker. So you can see that I'm helping with lidocaine. Jordan's doing the temperature at the same time. We kind of tag team. And now that it's been such a routine, we have a really good system. So I've created my own vet exam sheet that the vets use because I have all their information on them. And that way that as they go through their checks, they can record it on my page. Dr. Steve can do his signatures, we just make copies and we head from there. So that's what the vet techs and I are doing. This is Kayla, Jordan and Kayla are primary techs. Savannah is in the back today, but she is often with us too. And the puppies kind of just are in and out, make a little bit of a mess while we get things done, but we try to get in and out of the vet in about an hour. So uh, system and routine is really important. So we have got it down at this point. Once we go through our pre-exam, that tends to be early appointment, then we move them to the other room with the vets. So here you can see Pedro and Dr. Steve going through the list. Uh, Susan is in here with them as our first check. But then they'll, this is the first time they've been able to tag team their back exam. Just make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. And we do a little bit more than probably some Vets 
tend to check because we want to make sure there's nothing surprising us that a different vet would find. So I asked Dr. Steve to really double check teeth, really listen closely to heart. Um, so they're doing that twice with the tech and the vets, um, et cetera. So that's what they're doing here, making sure that they go through the notes that the techs have left. Uh, and when we did our pre-check, we caught or not and doing basically a double exam. So we're really thorough and we love our partnership with Cascade East and Dr. Steve and his team. It's been a huge blessing and um, we continue to hope to partner with them as we have litters here in Central Oregon. stuff the driver vets with donuts too hey Gareth let's I go with the plain donut, donut. Not even the plain donut Dr. Steve what kind of donut are you getting oh let's have a maple the classic maple donut. yeah oh look at that that tie looks familiar too that's a very familiar tie yeah I didn't know they were on the schedule today, but that was the next tie in the order. It was meant to be. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it looks like the vet wears these puppies out. Cashed. <laughs> that. <laughs> it's all documenting everything. What was that, Kayla? <laughs> Jordan, do you have any thoughts on how today went? <laughs> Very good. Very good? <laughs> Kayla, you got anything to add to Very Good? Because he's got cameras in her face. Nothing more than Very Good, Kayla? I don't even know like that. <laughs> I just work here, I don't know. <laughs> so you can see, it's the good stuff. All right, Aaron. Any thoughts? No. Nope. No, no thoughts. You, you got editing. anything to add to Jordan's very good? I'm editing this sheet. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I do all the editing. Kayla's like, mimicking you. She's like, this is Jay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kayla. <laughs> Sounds like you got something else to say, Kayla. What? Any other thoughts on how today's appointment went, Kayla? So good. So good. Very good. So good. It's a positive appointment day. Welcome in, Jay. Hey. <laughs> your wife you guys, gave me you your wife gave me the, your uh, phone. You guys know 